Okay. So let me uh, do a quick sound check. I want to bring to the front of the call, uh, Miss Angela Harrell. Miss Harrell, if you're there, uh, please come to the front of the call and let's do our spotlight interview for today. I am here. I am here. So excited to be here for the team. Excited to um, interview this young lady. I have come to just uh, respect her so much. And so today we're going to highlight Miss Vicki Larkins Forte, my sorority sister. I'm so, so super, uh, super happy about doing this. So Miss Vicki, are you out there? I'm here. Awesome. 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 And so let me do, I'm going to pin both of us so we could be side by side. And um, yeah, so why don't you tell us a little bit about um, about yourself, about like what you do, what your um, career path is, and how long you've been doing it for. Okay. Um, you want me to start with family or career path? We'll do career first, and then I'm going to go to family. <laughs> okay. Okay. So... I've been uh, teaching high school English for 17 years at uh, Cleveland Heights High School. Uh, this year, I have a student teacher um, at school. I am also a member of a committee that's responsible for Renewing Teachers Licenses, the LPDC. Um, I'm also a member of our district leadership team. Uh, let's see. I'm also on our teacher and principals team. And I'm on the executive board for our local union. Oh, with all that said, um, I have a total of 27 years and I plan to retire in three years. But guess what? I want you all to know that coming out with 30 years will only give me 40% of my income. Oh, wow. I, I knew that too. <laughs> it's, that's like the horrible thing of being a teacher, that when you come out of retirement 30 years, whatever your um, average of your top five years, they only give you 40% of your income to retire. And so we're going to come back to that fact. Um, and I know, so I wanted to like talk about your family because I know that's your biggest inspiration. And so let's go, um, and talk about, you know, your family and, um, you know, you look about 20 years old. So I just want everybody to know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, thank you. I didn't pay her. <laughs> Um, I'm the youngest of five, which, uh, I said, maybe that's the reason I feel more comfortable in a supporting role. I don't know. Um, I'm from Urban Crest, Ohio. That's near Columbus. I know you never heard of it. <laughs> um, I met my husband at Ohio University and we married and moved to his hometown, Cleveland. Mm -hmm. um, we have two daughters and we have a new granddaughter. She's one. Um, and on June 29th, we will have been married 33 years. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. So I just want to talk about like, so you joined our community. How how long ago have you been a part of our AMG community? I think it's four years. So now. four years. Mm -hmm. So 
um, four years ago when you joined, if you could remember back to that time, uh, what was it about the AMG community that, um, you know, it's like, look, I'm going to get involved. And, you know, you were super excited about being a part of our community. Um, I've always wanted to invest. I was um, a member of an investment club. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we started off very excited. And then the food kind of took over the <laughs> meeting. So um, I've always wanted to learn and be a part of investing. All right, fantastic. Did you know anything since you were a, bar, a part of that investment club before? Did you know anything about investing when you got started? Uh, let's see. I knew calls and puts. <laughs> <laughs> and I I still had no idea what that meant. Okay. And then now four years later, being here with us, um, what would you consider like yourself as far as investing in your knowledge? Like what are some things that you've kind of learned over the years? Well, um, I have definitely learned to trade on the Forex market. Mm -hmm. um, still learning, but I've learned how to trade. Um, I'm right there on the NASDAQ. Um, I own stock in the company. Um, I also am a part of uh, crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. I learn how to read the charts. I'm still learning. Um, and since I've been a member, I paid off my car. Debt Pro. Um, I have paid off some credit cards. I've learned how to uh, pay myself first. Awesome. 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 So I know um, like one of the products that we always talk about is being teachers that's in our smart finance, which is that HMA service that yeah. you've come to really appreciate and love that. So why don't you tell people just a little bit about um, you know, that service at, with regards to like what we, what we already had with work and then why that has been a great service for you. Well, so Miss Angela is talking about the health matching account. So I started a health matching account actually because I swipe my my card. Um, so let me back up. I have something called an FSA. Mm -hmm. And it's where your job takes money from your account for you to use towards medical expenses. Mm -hmm. um, you have to use all that money that year or you lose it. So I swiped my card and I got declined. So um, that's actually how I started the HMA. Um, but the other benefit is the job is not matching anything. I put in. Um, I can never lose what I'm putting into the HMA. And since Miss Angela said I look 20, <laughs> I could <laughs> use my HMA and go back to 16, get some surgery. <laughs> 
<laughs> I confuse that with the HMA. So there's no no restrictions. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Now I um I know that you are a faithful member on a lot of different trainings. Um, because I always I always see you, you know, on our Forex trainings and our calls every week. And just talk about how being a part of our community, um, how does it make you feel knowing that you want to retire in the next three years? Um, and how does it like prepare you for for your future? Well, I think one of the biggest things, um, your mindset really has to change when um, you are trying to gain wealth because uh, we've been just negatively programmed. And so we have to have a total paradigm shift. Um, but I feel confident that in addition to working on myself with the things we have in place in the wealth club, um, I will be able to retire because we have, you know, there's a saying that you should have seven different strands of income. We've got 12. So, um, thumbs up. Awesome, awesome. Now, let's let's talk about some fun stuff. What are some things that you like to do for fun? We just wanted, it's not all business all the time. Um, so what are some things that you're passionate about and that you love doing outside of work and studying about the stock market? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, passion and uh, my leisure, different, but um, I love traveling. Uh, I love getting personal care. So think spa services. Uh, I love eating out and going to concerts and plays. Those are things I enjoy. I also enjoy spending time with uh, family and friends. Now, passionate. Um, I'm passionate about uh, my church work, uh, church ministries, um, and passionate about financial freedom. Um, that financial freedom is going to allow me to comfortably retire, create generational wealth, and show my future generations how to create, manage, and invest money. Awesome. So last question. Um, this is an open house, so we know we have a uh, guest where we are introducing our wealth club for the first time. And I know um, if anyone is like me, when I first started, I was kind of squeamish, like, do I want to get involved? Is this really something I should do? Should I, you know, should I put my money into joining this club? What, uh, what, like, I don't know if you want to say advice or what would you say to like, if this is somebody's very first time um, hearing this, hearing, you know, hearing from our, our club and about the information, um, and this could be their day one of starting, or, you know, maybe they're making a decision to start. So whatever um, comes to your mind as now you're four years in, and I'm sure like I said, most people, when, when we first get started and we're looking at it, like, is this something I should do? Is this something I maybe, I don't know, Right. Um, and now you're like four years and not, I know it was like one of the best decisions that I've ever made to actually join. So um, just, you know, give some words of advice or um, something to the, to the new people who are either just joining today, you know, for the first time, or maybe they just started. Um, so give some advice to those people um, that you want, whatever you want to say to those people right now. 
Um, jump in. Step out from your fear and stay consistent. Consistency is uh, definitely um, something needed, right? Like everybody wants something like quick, quick. And it's like, no, stay consistent, stay um, I think Mr. Jameson always says, stay close to the fire, right? And then you'll be able to be successful. So, all right, Miss Vicky, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, give Miss Vicky some hearts and, and fire in the chat so we can say thank you for sharing your story um, with all of us. We really appreciate you. And it really just shows that, like, you know, she was saying when she first started, she didn't know um, anything about investing. And now here she is four years in and saying that, hey, I feel more comfortable with retiring um, because of being a of being a part. Oh, one last thing. Talk about the support that you have received from the club. I will say that because I think that's really important that we didn't talk about. So talk about the support that you think that um, I know you say that you're really busy. I know you're really active with our sorority, with your church, with your grandkids. But um, just talk one more one more time. Just one more thing about what you feel about the support that you get from being part of the club. Okay. And I'm glad you asked that because it's not many um, organizations that you're going to uh, join and have um, your top earners supporting you, calling you on the phone and actually walking you through stuff. Um, I received that kind of support. I'm not the most tech savvy person. <laughs> so uh, I needed and continue to need a lot of support and I get that. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Jameson. I will turn it back over to you. And I am looking forward to whoever our next person member is going to be highlighted next week. But I will throw the mic back over to you, Mr. Jameson. Awesome. Hey, once again, everybody, I need everybody to drop some fire in the chat for Miss Vicky. We love her. Drop some fire in the chat. Uh, great testimony. Great time sharing. And oh, by the way, I, I, before we forget, we have on our promo flyer, and we were celebrating Ms. Vicky's uh, testimony today, we let everybody know that just for joining as a guest today, that you will get access to one of our free uh, travel booking portals, okay? So I'm going to post that link in the chat right now. You can just click on it if you want to save on some travel, a hotel, rental car, a uh, long weekend, just click on the link, compare those prices that you see, right? We didn't even talk about that product today, but compare those prices to what you are, would normally do, okay? Just put them side by side and compare them and see the results, okay? So that link is in the chat for a free travel portal for any guests that join today as well, okay? Hey, listen, every week, man, every Tuesday, we have an open house and uh, for the next few weeks, we're going to be celebrating a new member, all right, a spotlight member every week that you'll get a chance to hear from, because it's not just about the people making the most money at the top. No, it's about the process and people making money along the way. That's what's most important to you, to us, okay? Because a lot of times people are here, you know, they'll hear my story and talk about maybe the money that I make. And for a lot of people, that type of money is not believable. Right. They don't they won't believe they don't think 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 a month is believable for them. OK, but when they hear a person that made 500 or a thousand, it becomes a little bit more believable. And here's what we do know. If we help you make a hundred, you give yourself permission to make a thousand. If we help you make a thousand, we'll give you give yourself permission to make ten thousand. That's what we know. Right. So we love uh, the, the rising stars and the spotlight stories. Uh, because it can re be relatable to, to the masses of the people. So listen, we'll see you back here. Oh, get started. Number one, get started, okay? You heard Miss Vicky say, jump in. Now is the time. <laughs> You've been praying for this moment, okay? Your prayers have been answered tonight. Jump in, get started, 
and we'll see you back here next week for our next open house. Bring a friend with you. We absolutely love you. Take care and take charge.